Okay, well, welcome back. Um, hopefully many of you joined us for week one. Jen and I had a, a very fun time following along and seeing everyone. Um, we weren't looking at many of you because we were moderating things, so no one, no one needs to, to feel like they have eyes on them. But um, we, uh, again, thoroughly enjoyed last week. And um, for anyone that, you know, wants to rewatch or things like that, the recording is on our YouTube channel. Um, we had many people that weren't able to make the meetings that uh, also gave us great feedback and we're excited to have um, Neil take us through these this dance series. Um, so welcome to week two. Um, I'll, I'll get Neil on screen and he's gonna introduce kind of some of the topics he's gonna walk us through tonight. And um, you know, on the schedule, it's, it's the night of arms. So he's gonna get our arms moving, I know that. And he, uh, he did that a little bit last week. Um, but again, uh, we're not gonna really, we'll, we'll maybe look through a few questions at the end um, it does help to have you guys on screen, mostly for Neil, because he's trying to uh, pay attention to, you know, where people are at and, and how, how well they're following along. Um, so if you're able to keep your screen on, your camera on, and uh, that, that helps Neil a lot. So without further delay, I'll turn it over to Neil. And we're actually gonna start with an image. So you guys are gonna see an image on your screen. Um, Neil won't be, large because he, he wants us to to look at this image and he'll kind of walk us through a discussion on that and then after that discussion we'll get into spotlighting neil and just so you know you, you'll see an image here shortly okay okay neil you should be unmuted and you should right. have the image on screen okay Hey everybody, uh, so I just wanted to start off because this is about arms tonight, but adding the arms with the feet that we already have. Uh, I had mentioned that a couple summers ago I had needed visual help. So I went out to the Institute and the reason I realized I needed visual help was because of this picture. Uh, I would, it turns out that I had been suppressing my left eye for who knows how long, but I only discovered it uh, was because I went to the dance studio and I started taking pictures. I didn't feel right and I had back pain that hadn't been there previously, so I couldn't figure things out. So I realized when I had two eyes open and I tried to touch my toes, I couldn't touch, that's the picture on the left, two eyes open, you'll see there's a, there's, my back is kind of slanted. It looks almost like a scoli, like a rib hump on the left side, which is kind of odd, but that's the position that it was. So when I would lean over, I was in this crooked position when I had two eyes open. When I closed my right eye, I evened out. So I knew there was something that I needed help with. But that same thing would occur if I finished my dance step on the right foot, or if I simply moved my eyes to the right. So I knew there was something about this right side, right side, right side that made me crooked. Uh, and then if I went to the left and looked to the left, uh, even with both eyes, now I can't remember if I, if I could have both eyes closed at that point, but regardless, the tension would be created on the right side and I'd have to go to the left side to remove that tension. So I wanted to, again, get that out there that the left side has to resolve that tension that the right side creates. Uh, but also when I went out to the Institute and I got a new pair of glasses, uh, kind of a special pair, what I felt immediately was this, this release of tension through, my, through my, the front of my neck and my chest. That's, that's what I couldn't get over was this relaxation through the front part of my body from the, the front of my neck and my chest. And when I was just told to walk, what I felt, my arms just floated in front of me. I wasn't moving my arms consciously any different, but my arms just started to swing like they had never swung before, but probably because there was so much tension through my neck and, and my chest. And so... You could think of it that my arms didn't have rhythm before that because they were restricted through that tension. So my arm swing never rose to the height of so that I could see my hands out of my bottom peripheral vision. I, had, I could do that, but I would have to make it happen. I'd have to swing my arms forward to make that happen. Nowadays, it just happens. The arms just swing. And I can, when, I, when I'm walking, 
So I have this new rhythm to my arm. So arms need rhythm to match up with the rest of the body. And if you're restricted through your chest, apical chest wall, whatever it's gonna be, anything that's restricting arm movement is gonna restrict rib cage movement, which is gonna restrict the lower half as well. Uh, so I've also, this is for more for PRI people, uh, therapists, I also showed in April this little sequence of arm movements where I would start people with a rounded back. Now, some people cannot round their back, so you wouldn't really want to do that with them because this will kind of cause pain. But I started to do this and I had people bend their knees and I just started to have them swing their arms. And you can see if it's, if it's happening correctly, what you'll see is rotation through the hips and the ankles. And you know, if they can swing like this with nice pendular activity without tightening up their back, because a lot of people, the moment they start to swing, their back will tighten if, if they can even get into this position. Or what I saw was people are starting to just thrust their arms. There's really no pendular swinging, rhythmic pendular swinging to their arm movements. So you know it's gonna kind of throw off their, their, their bottom half as well. So I, in April, uh, I choreographed eight arm move, uh, seven or eight arm movements to a song. And so there's two in particular that could be useful for PRI uh, therapists, just to watch how people do it, to see how disconnected and non-rhythmic their arms may be. The first one is just to have your knees slightly bent, back slightly round, and just swing. You'll see some interesting things. Arms that kind of just, they don't go down and up, they just kind of make weird angles. You'll see crossing over. You'll see a lot of weird things, interesting things, I'll put it that way. Uh, and just watching this occur, should they should feel rotation in the opposite direction through their hips and through their ankles. And then the other one was having them keep their, ar their arms at shoulder level or their elbows at shoulder level and just doing this. Again, this should, if they don't use their back or their neck to do it, if they can stay relaxed, you should see rotation through my hip and also through my ankle. Because uh, there was a part of Ron's talk, I don't even know if he got to it, that was supposed to be about acetabular and calcaneal rotation with arm swings. That's kind of why I started experimenting with these things. And uh, I used it with a couple of people that I know personally. Some had no problem doing this and you would, their testing would be good. But if they got their arms higher, they'd start to arch their back and it really wouldn't work. So it's just, it's kind of a diagnostic tool to look at how people are moving their arms with the rest of their body. And if they have to extend their back to do so, you know, they're going to be somewhat non-rhythmic with those arms in upright activity. So I just wanted to kind of throw that out there. It's just something I've been looking at. Again, it's just an interesting observation that I've had over the years of the non-rhythmic nature of the arms. So our arms need rhythm to match the rest of the body. And hopefully tonight we'll do that uh, with, with the dance steps that you already know how to do. So let's start with the basic arms. So I do need, hopefully everyone will be getting up and uh, joining in at this point in time. All right. Basic arms are this. Now this is mostly coming from Latin dancing, from salsa but it applies to anything you really want to do. So all you need to do, keep your arms at your side, elbows are slightly away from your body, and then just bend the elbows. So it's almost like you're holding luggage. And then you just bend the elbows, and that's all you gotta do. Keep the wrists nice and relaxed. You don't wanna make fists, okay? Uh, so you don't want this. If anything, well, you wanna keep them straight. You could extend the wrists slightly, but you wanna keep the fingers nice and relaxed. You could even put, if you wanted to, uh, a lot of times people will put together the thumb and the middle finger, like your or not touching, but as if you're holding an egg and the arms are just relaxed, okay? So the basic movement that you can apply to pretty much anything is the hands are gonna go over whichever foot you're stepping with. So if you put your weight on your right foot, the hands will move to the right. If you put your hands, or if you put your weight on the left foot, hands will move to the left, to the right, to the left. 
Oh, all right, let me, let me match up. So you, this is your right. So I'm gonna go to my left first. So to the right, to the left, to the right, to the left. Now you may notice I'm not moving my whole body. In reality, the arms are simply moving on their own. I don't want my whole body to go with my arms, but they are going over the foot that I'm stepping with. So if I step with my right foot, the hands go to the right. If I step with my left foot, the hands go to the left. All right, so we're gonna go to your right first. One, two, one, two, one, two, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Remember the hands have to go. So you know what, what you can, a good way to practice this actually, if you have a broomstick at home, this is not a broomstick, but if you have a broomstick, you hold on to the broomstick, you put it in front of you and you just do this. You move that broomstick from side to side. So we go right, left, right, left right and it's good to exaggerate it if you struggle with it so a couple other things uh, you can keep your elbows out to the side a little bit so instead of doing this like you're rowing that'll look slightly you know it, it's not going to look as smooth as it could look what you really want is the hands going more in a frontal plane movement from side to side without twisting all right so you don't want to look like you're rowing uh, a boat at this point. You just wanna go straight side to side, side to side, right, left, right, left, right, left. And as I mentioned last week, feet are easy. The hardest thing to teach in dancing is arms and body motion and shoulders. So uh, just realize what you're doing tonight people spend hours and hours and hours and hours trying to learn how to do. Okay. It takes a lot of practice to, to get your arms and your bot and your legs to match up correctly without looking too kind of herky jerky. Okay. So again, arms are out in front of you. If you have something to hold on to, go ahead. I'm going to put mine down, but we're just going to go right, left. Try to think about keeping your elbows in front of you instead of doing this. Don't pull them back. Keep them in front of your body. Okay. So again, we're going right, left, right, left, right, left. So now if you do it with that first step that we did, which was just this little two step, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, this is what it's going to look like. Which way, oh, you can't answer my question. See, this is where I start to ask the class questions, but you can't answer me. So uh, I will, I'm not gonna ask the question. The hands are gonna go to the right as you step. Right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So as I step to my right, the hands go to the right. One, they stay there on two, they come back to the left on three, three, and they stay there on four. So again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So what I wanna see, I'm gonna put more, I wanna see more people. And I want to see you exaggerate your elbows. So take your elbows and put them out. Now, good, now I can see more people. Just the hands, go all the way to your right, but don't move your body, just your arms. So watch, this torso is not gonna move. All right, come back to the center. All the way to the right, better. Okay, so there's your one. You could even think about leading with the arms before your, your, your right foot even steps to the side. So you could lead with your arms. 
which will tell your foot where to go. Okay, so let's do it again. Starting to the right, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good, let's do it again. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So in terms of exaggerating it, what I want to see is these, as I step to my right, my hands, look at the, where my torso is. My hands are to the, the right of my torso. I don't want my hands, I'm exaggerating at this point. That's it's just a good way to practice arms is to exaggerate everything. Get those arms away for offset. So my, in, off, in dancing, this term offset means something is offset to you, like usually your partner. But I'm gonna offset my hands compared to my body. And that's just to really practice and exaggerate that movement to make it more memorable so you remember it more easily. If you only make it real small, you're not gonna remember anything. Uh, and what you'll probably have is no actual flow to the arms. It's just, gonna, it's just gonna stay with your body. We want these arms to move in conjunction with the body. So the difference between, so this is how most people would do it in the beginning. Arms are just locked in place, no independent movement of the torso. I want arms to move independently, but at the same time with my body. Now, again, I am exaggerating it. I would, if I were actually dancing, I'd be a little more subtle. Although if you're performing, you'd be exaggerating. Everything in performances have to be exaggerated. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And again, this is that basic step from the movie Hitch where Will Smith recommended to his client that he should just do this the whole time. So. Now you can add the feet, you got the feet. Now you can make the arms. Now, if you also know, I'm, I'll throw it out there. But um, when I do this, whichever foot I'm stepping to, so if I'm stepping to my right, my right hand will be a little bit lower than my left. So right now I'm just teaching everything side to side, kind of like straight, as if you had, were holding something. But if I were really doing it, I would have, the opposite side arm, the left arm, slightly higher than the arm I'm stepping with, arm I'm stepping with, okay? So it would be one, my left arm would be a little bit higher than my right. And then as I come back, the right arm would be higher than the left. Again, I'm doing everything backwards, so I'm trying to make sure I'm saying the correct arm. So in this position, my right arm would be higher than my left. Subtle, but this is what it would look like. Okay, so let's try that. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So now I'm gonna put music on. Same song as last time. It's easy and I know it's slow. You can always do it faster. You can always do it faster, uh, but remember, to sense the position of your body. What we really want is to sense where your weight is, what your arms are doing, what you're feeling underneath your feet uh, as a sensory way of, of dancing. But of course you can always speed this up because if you ever go out dancing, it's usually gonna be faster than this. Okay. All right. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm gonna slow it down slightly. Give me one sec. Okay. Or keep your steps small, keep them tight. Seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, again. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven. One more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. I'm good with that. So now we're gonna do it. We're gonna do a different same step, but we're gonna do a different set of arms. So if you've ever seen flamenco from Spain, they do a lot of this stuff. That's what you're gonna do. So we're gonna get one arm high, one arm low. So what I want you to do, uh, if I go sorry, just bring your left arm up and your right arm down and then switch it. And then switch it. Switch. And this is the movement. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you're going to start with your right arm, which is my left arm. This should be your right arm. So you're going to start with the right arm going up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let me just do that with music and then we'll do it with the feet. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good, again. Six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, 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 six, seven, eight. Feel free to explore with your hands. As your hands are above, you could very easily turn it this way. So it'd be kind of like that. Or you could start to extend your wrist. It's hard to do it in this position. Uh, so like this. So my wrist is pointing down. Yep. Now it doesn't have to be, it does not have to be, and it shouldn't be directly over your head. You're gonna arch your back and we don't, we're trying not to have you arch your back too much. It should be slightly in front of your head, okay? All right, so we're gonna do that with music. And your feet, sorry, with your feet. So as you step with, as you step with your right foot to the side, the right arm's gonna go above the head. Now, as you step with your left foot to the side, left foot goes, uh, left arm goes above the head. I just wanna make sure you can see me. So to the right, one, two, to the left, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good, again, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And again, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, if you're on your right foot, another thing you can always do is you can pause. You can pause for four beats. If you're on your right foot and you're pausing for four beats, sense the arch of your right foot. If you're on your left foot and you pause, well, this is my, uh, if I'm on my left foot and I pause for four beats, I could sense my left heel. So if you are doing a PRI program and your therapist has said, hey, sense your left heel or your right arch, you could easily do this. So just watch. If I, I'm going to do it normally. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, pause. One, two, three, 
four. So I could pause at the end of that eight count, I could pause for four seconds, for four beats, sorry, and then just continue again. So you can work references, PRI references into it. Uh, if you're on your right foot, right big toe, right arch. If you're on your left foot, left heel. Sense it. So when you step, right arch, one, two, three, four, and then you just continue. Okay, so we're gonna do it. We're gonna go one eight count. So it's gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, pause, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you end up in the same spot, okay? So we're gonna pause for four beats after the first, after the first eight. <laughs> Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Pause. Left heel. One, two, three, go. Five, six, seven, eight. Now, the only thing is you have to hear the count. All right. So if you're not great with rhythm yet, just keep practicing. But you're pausing for four beats. One, two, three, four. And you're starting then on the fifth beat, five, six, seven, eight. And then when you start again, you're back on the first beat. So you're not, you're not going to throw yourself off in, when you, in any sense. But again, you can throw a pause in there just to sense grounding, sense the arm above your head. You can sense whatever. You can look to the left. You can look wherever you want. You can use all your PRI references, uh, not all of them, but well, you could probably experiment. Uh, so leave it up to your therapist to tell you what to experiment with. So. We are going to do it again. Right. I'm going to do it a little bit slower. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, pause. One, Two, three, go. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Pause. One, two, three, go. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, pause. Five, six, seven, freeze. So in this position, I, was on, I wasn't going to go styling until next week, but in this position, once you're there, wrists. All right, so you're pausing for four beats. Right arm is over your head. No, that'll be your left arm is over your head. This is my right arm. And you're just going to, with your wrists, make circles. Okay? You don't have to, but it's an option. So when I say pause, you just pause and you make circles with your wrists. Six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Pause, left heel and circles. Go. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, and pause, heel, circles, and go. Pause, heel, circles, and go. Pause, right arch, circles, go. All right, good. All right, remember, it's going to be, it's videotaped, so you can always go back and watch the video on the YouTube. So that was two different options for that two-step. You have arms here, right in front of you, and arms in the flamenco type of styling. Now, the four-step, I call it the bachata step from last week, where you're going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's do that again. So to your right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
what I hope that you can do is, if you remember Karate Kid, wax on, wax off. Take your right arm. You're going to go, uh, which direction would this be? This is my clockwise. All right, so you're gonna go in and out, in and out, in and out. So you're just making circles in front of you using your right arm. And you're gonna do the same thing with the other arm. So you're gonna use your left, always start in. In, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out. So you're gonna start with your right arm. So you're gonna go right arm, left arm, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. You can make them bigger if you want, or you can make them more subtle. I, as me, I would make them more subtle just for me though, all right? And you're just making these motions, all right? Now, how do you do this with the feet? So watch, uh, I'm going to step actually, Okay, so I have to go down, in and down with my right arm as I step to the right. So I'm going one. Okay, again, we'll try that again. Right arm is going down and out as I step to the right. Good, let's try that again. So that's one, two, three, four. So whichever foot you're stepping with, it's down and out. So if my right foot is going to the side, I'm down and out. If I'm stepping with my left foot, now that foot's going down, down, down. So whichever foot you're stepping with, the hand is down. The other one would be up. So it'd be with the right hand, it would be down, up, down, up. So it just matches with whichever foot you're stepping with, okay? Now integrating the two, you know, th doing this is not so hard, but doing it with music and your feet becomes a little bit harder. So let's try it. Uh, again, eight count, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. To the right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. When you end on eight, uh, my left hand is down. Hold on, one, two, three, four. Uh, they're going to be about equal at this point. It's a continuous flow. So there's not one perfect position at all times. It's just the general movement that's important. So when I'm completely done, my arms will be kind of in the same plane. Okay. So let's do that with music. Now this is also Samba arms. So if you've ever seen Samba, this is what they're doing with the arms, but it's used in all sorts of all types of dances and probably include and obviously in martial arts also there's really not that many things arms can do that will look good when it comes to arms it either looks good or it doesn't if it looks good you do it if it doesn't look good you don't do it some things will look funny if i step if i were to put my hands to the to the over the foot that's not stepping so if i go to my right as i said hands will go over that right foot but watch what happens if i do it the other way it looks awkward that's when people look awkward. I can't even do it because it's, I'm so, 15 years of doing it the correct way, it's, I can't do it wrong, but it looks odd if you do it the opposite. The body starts to look kind of weird. So there are a couple rules, but after the, those couple rules, you can kind of do whatever you want, whatever feels good. Okay, so let's do that with music. So we're gonna do the bachata step with samba arms. Thank you. 
said hands go over the foot that you're stepping with you'll notice i'm going to do this don't just watch what i'm doing here you'll notice that even though one arm is going up and one's going down we're making circles both hands are a little bit more to the side that i'm stepping with so if i if i start this notice that both hands are over my right leg they're not separated like this so one arm is going down one's going up but they're both over the leg that's stepping So this is a good precursor to learning how to do this to make it look right. Okay, so again, the way I've taught, I, I taught for years was get a broomstick, some sort of stick, and just keep going side to side. Whichever foot you're stepping with, that hand has to go over that foot, okay? Broomsticks work really well, and again, you want you want this type of thing. Notice my torso is not moving, just my arms are swinging. Now that's not exactly what we want when we're walking. We want our torso to move also, but in dancing, it doesn't match perfectly with dance, with walking, but it's pretty close. But this is something, I don't want my torso making my arms move. I just want the arms moving separately. That's how it'll look smooth. If the, arm, if the body moves in the same direction, it's gonna look funny because next week, I'm gonna show you how to use shoulders. The shoulders is really rib cage, but that has to be linked up with the direction which the hands are going. Not gonna get that to that tonight. And that is by far the hardest thing to learn and the hardest thing to teach. So it'll be videoed, but just realize that we don't wanna do this because that'll never really look good. And then when we add the rib cage and shoulders into it, it actually works nicely, but we're not there yet. All right, so again, with the music, and then we're gonna go over that right turn and the left turn where hands are gonna go above the head. So I gotta teach you how to turn left because we don't, want, we don't only wanna turn right, we gotta be able to turn left also. So the secret to spinning and turning, again, spinning will be next week. Uh, and I showed this at my presentation where it was a salsa performance and they're spinning the, the, the females uh, very quickly and often, but they're constantly changing the direction of the spin. So they might spin her five times within four beats really fast to the right, and then immediately re-spin her in the opposite direction to the left for another four beats. Uh, and that allows you not to get dizzy. So we're always trying to alternate spins so you don't get dizzy. And it's probably good from a PRI perspective, not just constantly turn right, turn right, turn right, but that's mostly what people do. Okay. So, um, bachata step with the samba arms. All right, here we go. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight. 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 All right, we all good? Now we have to combine it with what we just did with the flamenco arms. 
So this, this is where it gets difficult to transition from one arm movement to the next. So if we start with an eight count of the flamenco arms, let's try that slowly. Five, six, so we're gonna start with that right arm going up. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, now we're going into what we just did. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the arm is uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight. Then this left hand is gonna make a circle to get us, I'm sorry, right hand, this is my left. Right hand is going to make a circle to get us started as we step to the right, one. So here we are on eight. We're gonna use this hand to make a circle as we're stepping to our right on the first beat. So here's eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So let's try that again. So we're up like this on eight. Left, right hand, right hand is gonna make the circle away from us on one, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, if we go back to the flamenco step, hands are here to the right, five, six, seven, eight, right hand up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, bachata uh, with um, samba arms. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's try that with music. Ready? Uh, so we're gonna do flamenco first and then samba. Okay, here we go. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, flamenco. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, samba. One, two, three, four, five, six, flamenco. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, samba, two, three, four, five, six, seven, flamenco, one, two, three, four, five, six, samba, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. All right. Very good. Uh, remember, just exaggerate the arms. If you're practicing by yourself, really just exaggerate the arms, exaggerate the circles. It's just easier to remember. And then once they're exaggerated and you remember it, then you just smooth it out. Then you smooth it out. Exaggerate and then smooth out. Okay. Uh, right turn. So what we did last week went one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And at some point we did a right turn where you went one, two, three, four. You're gonna do that again, two options. Can you see this? Grab the wrist. In salsa, when you're spinning a lot, when they let go of the girl and she's doing her spins, arms are always gonna be going, they're gonna flow down, up, and they grab. Things, long, things like this, it's not always this, but it's like this as they spin, or just you can go out or just keep them above your waist, all right? So if you just wanna keep them above your waist as you turn, just be here. You'll spin more smoothly. You don't want your arms down because that'll look funny and you're not gonna have good balance. Getting your arms away from your body will give you better control. Personally, I would just keep, I, would, I, would, I don't know if I would do this. I would bend the elbows though to make it look a little better or you can go up. So as you start turning to the right, 
You're gonna grab your left wrist. You could do the other way, it doesn't really matter. But I would grab the left as I'm spinning. One, two, three, four. Now you're gonna spin back in the opposite direction, back to the left. Five, six, seven, eight. So it's the same thing. Let me just go over that spin. So start over on your right side. So we just spun to the left. So watch, one, two, three, four. Now I'm gonna spin back to where I came from. So with my right foot, I'm just gonna make sure you can see my foot, turn your left foot directly to the right. There's your five, pivot six, pivot seven, and come together on eight. All right, so you just spun to the right and then you're gonna spin back to the left to undizzy yourself if you're dizzy. Okay, so we're spinning to the right, arms up as you do it. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, and then back to the left, five, six, seven, eight, good. Or again, you can just have your arms here. It's up to you. So let's try that. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna do Samba arms. Turn, turn, got it? What the music? Five, six, seven, samba. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, turn. One, two, three, back the other direction. Five, six, seven, eight. All right, let's try that again. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, turn. One, two, three, again. Five, six, seven, eight. You could switch it up. You could go above in one direction and then shoulder level the other direction. Up to you again, no rules, whatever you want to do. Okay, so we'll start with uh, flamenco for eight beats, bachata for eight beats, then right turn and then left turn. Okay, here we go. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, samba. One, two, three, four, five, six, and turn. One, two, three, turn again. Five, six, flamenco. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, samba. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, turn. One, two, three, turn. Five, six, flamenco. One, two, three, pause. Five, six, seven, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, samba. One, two, three, four, five, six, turn. Flamenco. Pause, left heel, wrist circle. Five, six, seven, samba. Turn. Clap. Freeze. So, again, this is where under normal conditions, I would quiz the class. What number do you clap on or snap? Give me fingers. Two, four, six, or eight. The upbeats. So remember, downbeats, one, three, five, seven. You don't want to clap on those numbers. You clap on the two, the four, the six, the eight. So if you turn, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so two, four, six, eight, you can throw in a clap whenever you want. Okay, so a couple of minutes, let's see.
I want to throw in, okay, what we did last week also, we did these flicks where you went out to the side and you went up with one arm, okay? So if we flick, 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 flick. Now here you can essentially, again, pause. This is a basically PRI technique right here. Sense your left heel. You are in, you can shift your left hip back a little bit. Do you feel some left glute medius? Do you feel some hamstring? You never know. Uh, so you could pause here for four, you know, for four beats, or you could pause on your right side for four beats and sense that right arch or the right big toe. So another way, so that technique especially, or this, this technique, <laughs> this step especially is very PRI-ish because you're in this stance and swing phase of, 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 of walking. Um, so I just want to throw that out. Uh, this is the flick. Now with the flick, you don't always have to go up. Arms also can go opposite the direction that the foot's going. So if my right foot goes out, hands can go the opposite direction. Okay, so that would be and one and two and three and four. Okay, so the arms, that's a salsa step. That is arms go opposite the direction of the foot that's going out. So again, if we go out with the right foot and one and two and three and four. Or again, you can go up with one arm. You can mix it up, doesn't matter, whichever you prefer. So let's go uh, Samba, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, flick and flick and flick and flick. Okay, here we go. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, flick and flick and flick and flick. Now here again, we want the arms going straight across. Okay. So again, that little broomstick exercise works really well. Again, this is applicable, a, applicable, applicable to all dances, all different types of dances, ballroom dances, Latin dances, hip hop, whatever it's gonna be, arms going opposite direction of the foot that's going out, okay? So again, let's go uh, samba and then the flicks with the music. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, flick, 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 good. Let's try it again. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, and flick. Flick, 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 and flip. Oh, that'd be a tough transition. That's a truck. Okay, so let's go. Right turn, left turn, flick. Here we go. So we're going to right turn, left turn, flick. Five, six, seven, turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, flick, 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 together, and then you're back into your uh, flamenco. So putting everything together without the music first. Let's go, let's we'll start with flamenco first. So we're putting these four steps together. Flamenco first, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Samba. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, turn. One, two, three, turn. Five, six, seven, Turn, flick, 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 
flick together. Good? All right, with the music, let's see what happens. Just keep doing it until I say stop. We've got a couple minutes. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, samba. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, flick, 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 flick together. And then you're back into flamenco. Samba. Turn. Turn. Flicks. Flick. And flick. And flick. And flick. Together. Flamenco. Samba. Turn. Turn. Flick. 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 Together. Samba. Turn. Options. You have options. Samba. Turn. Flick. Together, flamenco. Turn. Flick. Together. Turn. I'm going to something different. Together. Oh, there you go. Samba. And turn. Turn. Flick. 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 
Good job. And you are done. Again, that's on video. Uh, oh, I don't think people were getting the last part. Flick, 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 flick. You have to come together and then step on one. So it'd be and one and two and three and four and step. So you have to use that syncopation, the one and two and three. You have to get this last foot back in place or together on the and, so you can then step on one, okay? So you, or you could count it as um, one and two and three and four, five, six. No, you have to use the ands. You were halfway there. You were mostly there. You just have to get it together and then step again. So you'll be good. All right. Thank you. Remember, next week is motion. Hips. You got to learn how to swing the hips, roll the shoulders, and everything will start to look better when you can do that. All right. Bye-bye.